Dave Bickler talks about that great classic series of TV and radio commercials he was part of, Bud Light's Real Men of Genius. I'm John Bowden from Rocky Street Music. Dave Bickler knows he'll always go down in history as the guy who sang Eye of the Tiger in 1982 for Rocky III and in the band Survivor, which he's no longer part of. But there's another thing that he was part of that lives on, and it's a classic radio and TV campaign. Bud Light's Real Men of Genius. If you don't remember it, just look up on YouTube. They're incredibly funny. And Dave was the rock guy in those commercials. He knows how to poke fun at himself. I asked him how he got the gig. I had done jingles for since I was like a, a teenager. I, I, a band I was in, um, the, the the bass player Mark Zabel's dad worked for J. Walter Thompson. He he got me into the jingle scene in Chicago. He introduced me to a jingle producer, so I, I started doing commercials. You know, which is great because they pay you on time. You know, per contract, <laughs> what's promise, and all of that. So I was like, you know, this kid, and I had wow, check coming in the mail for 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 a commercial, and so. I'd been doing it for a long time, so I knew a lot of people. And uh, Sandy Toronto in Chicago, he had a, he was he played. By the way, he's he's a, Sandy's not you don't know that name for a guitar player, but he plays with Miles Davis. You know, he's a he's a killer guitar player. But he he had a production house, a commercial production house, and he called me and said we got this weird thing. You know, come down and they, they asked for an '80s. They're looking for an '80s rock singer. Um, and come down and you know check it out and do do the demo. So I we did eight demos, which is unusual in and of itself. There's, that there were eight of them, and and it was this crazy thing with Pete Stacker doing that crazy Bud, Bud Light, pers- you know, just this nutty little sitcom, you know, kind of thing, and uh, it got to be, yeah, it went it went to uh, went kind of viral. Well, it's nice the fact that it also it, it pokes fun on a, a lot of different levels. Yes, I, I did not take I do not take myself that seriously, and I so I was able to have fun with that, and you know, in the spirit that it was, and and it was fun making them too because they were like. It was a free for all because other commercials I'd done, there was a script and it was ironclad from God came down from the agency and from the you know from the sponsor uh, that, that you didn't deviate from that. But this thing, they just come in, all the guys from the agency just come in and we just throw all that away and just keep trying stuff. Different. How about this? How about that? Which was you know unusual in and of itself, and it, it was it was very funny. Dave Bickler's brand new album is called Dark Light. I love it. Highly recommended. Go to DaveBickler.com. We have one more in this series coming up next Tuesday. Make sure you comment on our video. Subscribe to our channel and share our videos. I'm John Bowden from Rocky Stream Music. Mm-hmm.